Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, um, we're doing another tutorial since I have no service to play. I had to record a video and I thought like, yeah, let's do a tutorial. So, I actually seen some you trappers use this trap in their videos. And, like, barely anyone know, like, people know how to build a trap. But, like, if you don't, I just want to help you guys out, you know. To, um, so this is how a trap is going to work. It's going to push these blocks and I'll, like, it's pretty easy, if you can see. And this is what it will do. It will cover up this and, yeah. So quickly before this video starts, um, uh, I got a new pack made by Ape, like it's an old pack of me, someone made it, but I didn't really use it back then, but I actually want to start using it because I really like this pack, if you can see it's made by Apexy, he made me this a while ago when I was at 5k I think, it's called Pink Tracking, so if you want this released, I'm going to be using it in a couple of videos, so if you want it released, let's aim for 300 likes and peace. Alright guys, so yeah, what you want to do is you want to start off with uh, making a box, like let's say it's your base, yeah? And like you can have this as a pearl catcher or, or like you can have it as this trap. We're gonna make this trap. So what you want to do is you want to mine out like uh, a big hole or like seems like a little trap, but not, like place some string on it. You have to place this line because to make it less obvious. And then you just want to randomly start placing string, like not full string, because uh, people will think uh, if it's not no full string, of course, like they will be able to pearl out. But what this trap is gonna do? It's gonna push over blocks here, so they won't be able to pearl out and they're trapped. Alright guys, so what you want to do is you want to start out uh, mining a little trap, hole, or whatever you want. And, like, you want to start placing string like this, and just randomly spread string. Um, like, to make it look like people are pro out, and, like, let's say, uh, people, someone said, uh, or, like, they watched your trap or something. Like, make it look like that, so it will be able to, people to pro out. You want, don't want to do this line, because this is not going to get pushed by these blocks. I can make it like that, but... I think it's just easier like this. So um, what you want to do is you want to mine out this. I can quickly use a wall edit if I want, but like I just mine it out. Wait, I'll actually use wall edit. So we'll just do this for now. Should be good. So um, what you want to do is you want to go. It's pretty much the same design as a fancy trap. You want to go two blocks, like two blocks into the base. It's gonna look like this. It's easier if you're looking at F5. So you're gonna have another line here, another one here, and another one here. It's gonna be two blocks for the redstone as well, so we'll just quickly mine this out. Alright, guys, it will, should be look like this then. And what you wanna do is you wanna start placing repeaters like this and line them up and axe each other. And at the last line, uh, you wanna place redstone and make place like we'll just do it like this, and then we place a button. So it's gonna be really easy. And what you wanna do now is you wanna place like grass or just cobblestone doesn't really matter. Uh, for uh, for uh, blocks like behind each other so it will look like this so one two three four it should be good and what you do want to do is now place these pistons against up each other so they will push out these blocks and uh, let's quickly do that all right so this is how it's supposed to look now um that's how the trap is gonna work you can do this like make it differently you don't have to do it with a base but i prefer making this with a base because it's like less obvious if you have a trap near your base you know so if we quickly pull the button, you can see the trap worked, and we place this line so to make it less obvious, to make it a bit bigger, you know. We can also do it like under the base here, but like they won't be able to pull out since there's a line of string here, and the people get stuck in here in your trap. You can make it like um, so you have to place a pressure plate in the corner or something. We can make it do it like that. I'll quickly guys like show you guys how to do it. What you want to do is you want to make like a grinding area where you bow them or something. It's totally up to you how you're supposed to kill them down here. But I want to connect up this redstone here. We're just quickly going to do that. So what you want to do is you want to start off placing a repeater because it won't reach otherwise. And now I have to check how far we have to go down. Because I don't know how far I made this trap down. Let's see quickly. Alright. We're already way too low. This level should be good, I think. So if we man this out, let's have a look. All right, we're gonna end up like here. So you man this down. Uh, we might, yeah, we'll just place a repeater here. And what it's gonna do now? I'll quickly reset the trap. I'll show you guys how to reset the trap. So what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of these pistons here. There we go. 
and you want to get rid of these blocks here and just you have to replace after using the trap each time you have to replace the string to make it like less obvious you know obviously um so let me grab some string we'll just re like randomly place some string and you want you might like you have to keep this line here so um wait we'll want to do this here as well to make it less obvious oh wait now we'll do it like this it should be good so what you want to do now you want to replace these blocks here four blocks could you do that and you want to do the pistons again as i did before so yeah there we go all right guys so if you place the press place right here you see the trap works and there's a trap